no gain. And again, it says, all who fail to find wisdom harm themselves. And those who hate moral wisdom love death. Okay, that's in verse uh, 26, I believe, in Proverbs. So write this down. A key component of the mark of the beast is finding my voice annoying and not listening to my videos because they're changing. They're changing my voice and my speech pattern. So if you take their part of it and say, I just can't do that, or it's annoying, or whatever your issue is, then you've accepted the mark because they're doing things to keep you from coming to God. Bitch ass, Riddler, Joker, Penguin, Jigsaw, Two Face type of bitch shit. You know, those are characters from comic books and movies. Also, as you can see, there's no shortage of dumb, groupy bitches. They refuse to help me with my videos. They refuse to rally to me. You know, if I had an attractive female to make these videos with, they would have came out so much better. So let's take, let's take a moment of silence here. Um, for all the attractive females who God despises for not rallying to me, all the attractive females there are now, there ever will be, that are responsible for the females we have now, and let's think about how they're going to cook in hell with their offspring. Okay. If you remember that they're changing my voice, we just did Revelation 13, okay? And a strong divide was created between those who conform to the world, especially the churches who claim that they're not conforming to the world, but they're just using psychology and white supremacy and token minority and LGBT spirits and feminism at times and so on and so forth, okay? And those who refuse to accept the direction, the leadership, the tutelage, Okay, the dating processes, etc., etc., of the world. Okay. Revelation 14, the Lamb and the 144,000. Then I looked, and there before me was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. So these are people who do the works of God in the Royal African Falcon Martial Art Order. And this is in the spiritual realm. <clears throat> As we see in... Um, Isaiah 63 says he was appalled that no one was helping him, okay? From the nations, no one was there to assist him. So his own arm achieved salvation. So all the spirits of the nations fail, including Israel, right? So this, this is not a bunch of Jews in Israel who are transforming Israel to make it a magical place for God. And that's all nonsense. It's all Satanism, okay? It's like illusion fields in Greek mythology, illusion fields, right? And it's nonsense. Okay, there's like some beer called the Legion beer or something like that. You know, it, it, it's quite a joke. It's quite a sick joke. All right, so they're they're doing the works of God. They have their mind is God, mind, body, soul, spirit, what have you. And I heard a sound from heaven like the man, excuse me, like the roar of rushing waters and like a loud peal of thunder. So the waters, the living waters of God, are mighty. They're roaring. They roar like a lion, the lion of Judah, what have you. Okay, uh, and loud peals of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of a harpist, of harpists playing their harps. And they sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn the song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. These are those who did not defile themselves with women, for they remained virgins. They follow the lamb wherever he goes. They were purchased among mankind and offered as first fruits of God and the lamb. Okay, so these harps, you know, it's like Isaiah 30. You know, God is striking down the devil to the sound of harps and timbrels, okay, devil's spirit, okay. Reminds me of capoeira and, and kung fu sometimes, and they play music while they're doing um, some kind of martial art, but that is the devil's tune, okay. These are martial arts of the world. It's hard to say exactly what they sprung up from. They sprung up from African martial arts, no doubt, one way or another. But at this time, everyone who does them worships the devil, okay. And I have people in my family who do it. It's sad. So, you know, some, you know, one of them at least is a very uh, nice guy and it's confusing, but what he's doing is worshiping the devil. Okay. Um, and he's found his life in this world. So, you know, my family is those who obey the commandments of God. I still treat them, you know, I still treat them more than fairly, 
you know, but that is the situation. I'm not asking anyone to do something that I haven't done myself. I've given up my relationship with my family uh, because I don't find my life, so we don't, re we don't relate in that level. I didn't go to my cousin's wedding, okay? This is my mom's sister's um, son, you know? And I didn't go to his wedding, okay? I went to, um, when I was younger, I went to his parents' wedding, okay? So, you know, that is, that is key to note here, um, where we're here. You, know, you can thank Babylon for that. You say, well, why are you breaking down the family? They're the one who broke down the family. They put you at odds with God. So you can go to hell with your family like an idiot, or you can say, hey, any members of your family isn't going to rally and obey God to me, then you leave them behind. And I don't anticipate anybody um, obeying God to me. To this day, no one has. I've been predicting this for years and years and years, that they wouldn't obey God through me, that attractive women wouldn't submit, okay? Because I know people, I know God, they don't, okay? So they're still scrambling to try to stop me um, because they don't understand human nature and what's best for people and so on and so forth. Also notice they were purchased among mankind and offered as first fruits to God, right? Those who remain virgin, spiritually speaking, to God and the Lamb, right? Those who didn't prostitute themselves to satanic deities. No lie was found in their mouths. They are blameless. They didn't prostitute themselves to other gods. Okay, which leads us to the three angels. Okay, the three angels. This is a key explanation as to why people are damned to hell. Then I saw another angel flying in midair, and he had the eternal gospel to proclaim to those who lie on the earth, to every nation, tribe, language, and people. Notice language, right? So there's cryptograms, right? But the Tower of Babel, they confuse the language. And that's part of why the gospel ghost spell, that's why that is. So he's preaching it to every nation, tribe, language, and people. The language like has a spirit of its own or some, and, it, and, and it's evil, but it's also how it's used, right? Everybody's speaking their language, you know, their language can also be body language, actions speak louder than words, what have you. He said in a loud voice, fear God and give him glory because the hour of his judgment has come. Worship him who made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and the springs of water, right? The water, you know, the sea of people, the living water, the water of spirits, and so on and so forth. The spirit of purity versus filthy water, right? The proverb says, like a, a, a muddy spring or polluted well is the righteous who give way to the wicked. So you have to obey God through me and accept the way of righteousness and, and honoring God and fear the Lord and the King and don't join with rebellious officials or you become a polluted well and your spirit is filth, right? Excrement and so on and so forth. A second angel followed and said, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, which made all the nations drink the maddening wine of her adultery. So how many nations drank the maddening wine of the adulteries? All. Does that mean Israel and America and Russia? Yes. Does that mean China and North Korea and Nigeria? Yes. Okay. All the nations are not right with God. My kingdom is not of this world. I am a moral supremacist and God's son, not a racial supremacist, okay? I'm even biracial, but that is neither here nor there. Plenty of bi biracial people are scum and so on and so forth. Basically all other biracial people, that's a story for another day. Anyway, um, so all the nations drank the maddening wine of her adulteries. Wine can be symbolic of blood, their reproductive cycles, their spiritual implications here, okay? They're spiritually evil and spiritually having satanic sex and sexual energy they talk about sexual energy and sexual power okay that's satanic that is rebelling against the royal african falcon martial art order and rejecting what true principles are okay it's like you know harry potter and rick moranis arguing that because they're jews that they're more righteous than martin luther king and they're proud to be americans and that i should shut up or something okay it's fucking retarded but far above martin luther king i am Okay, and these people are far below. It's hard to tell how right Martin Luther King was with God or not. Okay, but certainly the things he did went beyond on the scale of what is the right thing to do. Whether he passed the line of actually being right, they went beyond just being a Jew and leveraging your network and being an actor or whatever. Okay, anyway. Um, A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives its mark on their forehead on their, or on their hand, they too will drink the wine of God's fury, which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. Okay, so they're saying, don't 
Don't live like them. Don't be an emo, a jock. Don't be in the military, police. Don't be an American martial artist. Don't be an Eastern martial artist. Don't be an island martial artist, right? Leave Babylon's system. Don't be another type of African martial arts. Leave Babylon's system and obey God through me. Nobody else is doing what's right, okay? They're all sick, scum, especially white Jews and LGBT cultures that the ones will say to be diplomatic that are persecuting me and trying to make it seem like they're greater than I am. How fucking pathetic is that? They're the main people doing it, right? Just like in colonism. Would you say that the other races are equally as guilty as the white man during the colonial period? Not this neo-colonial period, but during that colonial period? No, they're the main people doing it. And it's a mistake when people start dating toward them. You need to first and foremost not date them. Don't date anyone who is in the Royal African Falcon Martial Art Order and I'm the only one in it. Okay, these people have no viable counter-argument. They might try to say something stupid. Well, that's convenient. We'll make your counter-argument. Well, we have none because we're fucking evil and we're tricking them and we deal in rape by deception, guys. Right, you know, they're fucking retarded. Anyway, where was I? Um, so we have the three angels somewhere. All right, um, or the four angels. Wait, what was it? Oh, no, it's the three angels. Okay. This calls for patience on the part um, of the people of God who keep his commands and remain faithful to Jesus. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labors, for their deeds will follow them. For their deeds will follow them. Right? Those who say you're not saved by your deeds, you're saved by your deeds in the Royal African Falcon Martial Art. Only people are saved by their deeds in the Royal African Falcon Martial Art Order. Faith and deeds working together. Okay, and a lot of people think you just need faith, and that's the satanic gospel. Okay, it makes it clear right here, and, and later in Revelation, it'll say Jesus judges people according to their deeds. According to their what? According to their deeds. According to their what? According to their deeds. Okay, and here it says, yes, says the Spirit. And it says, right, this blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit. They will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. Again, I'm the gate. I'm the true vine. You must remain in me. You must obey God through me. Not do what you think is right, but do what I command you to do. And you'll know it's overkill that it's the right thing to do, that it is morally precise what I say to do, and there's no viable counter argument. Harvesting the earth and trampling the wine press. 14. I looked, and there before me was a white cloud, and seated on the cloud was one like a son of man with a crown of gold on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Remember, uh, in, in somewhere else in the New Testament, like Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it says that, I think it's Matthew, that Jesus has his winnowing fork in hand, right? So there's a sickle. He's harvesting things. He's throwing the weeds into the fire, and he's taking the righteous who died for God, okay? And he consumes them, okay? Isaiah 5, the vineyard of the Lord, right? The vines he delight in, those in the true spirit of God, those who remain in me, those who die for God are consumed, spiritually speaking, and become one with God, like food that is good becomes one with you, separates pure food. So none of it um, leaves the body. Instead, it becomes one with God forever. Okay. You know, like food turning into energy or something. It's turning into, you know, it's turning into more pure spirit, right? So it's, it's the, the Son of Man is seated on a, on a cloud, okay, with a crown of gold on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. So it says, one like the Son of Man. So whether it's me or whether it's an angel, a part of me, what have you. Okay. Um... Where are we here? Okay. Then another angel came out of the temple and called in a loud voice to him who was sitting on the cloud, Take your sickle and reap, because the time to reap has come. For the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he who was seated on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle. Still another angel who had charge of the fire came from the altar and called in a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle, Take your sharp sickle and gather the cluster of grapes from the earth's vine, because its grapes are ripe. Okay, so ripe and rape, G rape, grape, right, wine and whining. So who is loyal to God and who's a rape cult bitch who's whining about what God asked him to do, who's become one with the spirit of the world, which is the spirit of rape, mass murder, domestic violence, you know, all the horrible things that come, you know, child molestation, you know, mass theft and on and on and idolatry and on and on and on. Okay. Um, okay, the angel swung his sickle on the earth, gathered his grapes and then threw them into the great wine press of God's wrath. 
They were trampled in the wine press outside the city, and blood flowed out of the press, rising as high as the horse's bridle for a distance of 1,600 stadia. 